Welcome to Ready Study Eat and this is your gourmet guru Saloni and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect fudge brownie. These are so rich, gooey and delicious. So let's get started. Let me tell you what you'll need for this. 140 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature, 200 grams of chocolate melted, 215 grams of caster sugar, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, 1 4 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder, 2 large eggs, 2 tablespoons of warm milk, 1 teaspoon of instant espresso powder, 20 grams of walnuts chopped and 100 grams of all-purpose flour sifted. So first we are going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and then line an 8 by 8 pan with, with butter paper and keep it ready. So I am taking warm water, mix the espresso. By adding espresso, this just adds to the extra flavor of the chocolate. So take the, melt the butter in a bowl, add the sugar and whisk till light and fluffy. To this add the melted chocolate, give it a good whisk. Now to this I am going to add the egg one at a time. Stirring well in between. Whisk it till it's well incorporated. And now to this, I'm going to add vanilla extract and the espresso. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. And to the flour, I'm going to mix the salt and the cocoa powder. Give it a nice stir and gradually add this to the chocolate mix. Stirring now with a spatula. Stir in the rest till it's nicely incorporated and there are no lumps. It's a nice, rich and thick and dense batter. Fold in the nuts. If you want, you can add even chocolate chips into this. Now pour it into the prepared tin. Smoothen it out with a spatula like this. And now they are ready to go into the oven and they should be done in about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to check if the cake is done. You can see that it's not wet. It's a little crumbly texture. So brownie is done. And now that the brownie is cooled, I'm going to take it out of the, out of the tin. You can see how easily it comes out. So take a sharp knife and cut the edges a little bit. You can cut these into any shapes that you like. First, I'm going to cut it into a square or a rectangle. These are so crusty from the top and so chocolatey and gooey from the inside. Now, this is what I call heavenly. These would go amazingly well with a glass of milk or with some ice cream. Thanks for watching and do give it a try and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel for many such easy and simple recipes. So this is me, Saloni, signing off. Bye-bye.